Welcome to section 5 of downloading a SPICE model off the internet and using that in hyperlinks analog. In section 1 we downloaded a simulation model, a SPICE model from the linear technology website for an operational amplifier. Section 2 we showed you how to modify that symbol so that you have your own custom graphics. Section 3 we created a summing amplifier circuit design. Section 4 we ran that amplifier through a hyperlinks analog and we saw the inverting summing output. So now here in section 5 what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add another amplifier stage to make this a non-inverting summing amplifier. So let's go ahead and delete this output. Yes. And then right away let's go ahead and rename this. So this will be our inverting sum out. In a minute, I'll show you some neat ways to to do this in terms of renaming different capabilities. So let's use that same amplifier that we downloaded from the Linear Technology website. So we can drag and drop and place it there. Now you'll notice immediately you get the custom graphics that we defined when we first modified this block symbol on import. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's look at it from the symbol view and now we can see that our custom symbol has been added to our library so we can just select that and say place symbol and drag and drop that so there's a couple of different ways to do that but now talking about renaming in the project so we've got our new amplifier let's rename it and this will be our inverting amp so we've changed the name there and just to confirm <laughs> that yes everything's still good the property value has been altered as well so this is just another way of doing the same thing instead of going to the property dialog so let's take that resistor control C for copy control V for paste and then click and then control V again click and now we've got the components we need alright so let's get ourselves some working room and then let's zoom in a little bit and let's start to wire this up well I think I'd like things to be a little bit cleaner so it's click drag release I knew that was hanging out there somewhere Now you'll notice what we're doing is we're creating an inverting gain stage that has a gain of 1. Hook up our power rails. Take our positive input and connect that to ground. So now let's go back to that Project Explorer view. And you can see that once again, you know, it's easy to recognize where uh, you have unnamed signals. And I like to have all my signals and components named so that it's easier to correspond back to the netlist when you need to do that. So there's multiple ways of doing this. That's all I'm demonstrating. I happen to like the convenience of the Project Explorer, Explorer and being able to change the values there. So now we've got our summing amplifier. It's an inverting summing amplifier followed by an inverter, inverter with a gain stage of 1. We've already set up our stimulus in the previous design. So now we've already set up our simulation run control as well. So we're ready to send this off to the Hyperlinks Analog simulation engine and look at the results. 
here in Easy Wave. So there is our output. Here's our internal output. Let's just loop those together so we can see if they're really inverting. And sure enough, they are. And if we look at the cursors, that's pretty much near a, a unity gain stage. And then, of course, you know, we can add our input signals. And then if we want to stack them all together, we can take a look at that. All right, so in this section, we've taken the same op amp, and now we've gone ahead and we've created a summing amplifier that has a normalized non-inverting output. And in the next section, we'll show you how to modify the circuit with the stimulus input and a couple modifications to the design to create a sawtooth generator, a waveform generator.